Hello everybody and welcome to another episode from the Medieval Realm, the Realm of Vast, and this is what, 197 I think, something like that, and look at what I've done. Oh yes, it's time to actually start landscaping a little bit. I want to work on this path, and I was just drive walking along, it, driving, riding my horse along it here, and I just realized that I hate it. So, I spent some time building some trees, and we're going to call these fir trees, and boom, I'm in creative mode. Check it out. Now, this is something that we've always talked about, or always, quite, for quite some time, talked about, about building forests and how pretty unrealistic it is to build giant forests in creative, uh, or in, in survival by myself. So, I went ahead and I built seven different forests, uh, seven different fir trees. I'm calling them fir 0, 1 through 0, 7. If you do the world download, they are going to be in there. That's part of the world now. So... This is just a couple of them, and let me just show you how this is done. So you just take this structure block, and and I'll just kind of do like a random sort of uh, position. And then you just hit done and see. Oh, that's actually a really great location. Let's do instead, though, for three. And I'm going to hit load. And hit load again. There you go. There's for three. And... Uh, yeah, and then you can just do rotations and you can just keep on adding them. So what I'm going to do is along this path, and if I step on the path, I don't care. But I'm going to build from basically the swamp, well, probably this bridge, from this bridge on up to the desert over here is what I want to do. I want to build, I want to build a real like fir forest. I think it could be really cool and uh, really immersive. And this area is really cool cool because it's it's like limited in scope so we'll just go on this side of the river all along here um maybe over there but probably not all along the river right up to the desert and that's going to be a nice way of if you're taking this road from the end temple over this whole area is going to be a big fir forest i think it could be really cool and we'll put some fun stuff in there too we'll put some some maybe arbor druids huts and all that kind of stuff but um, I just thought we could do some together and, and, and check it out. Now, all these trees are at Adjury, at the Arbor Druid's place. So, um, there's another one I did. Yeah, you just go load for zero, say, four. Why not? And let's try and see where this is going to go. Okay, got to gotta move that a little bit. And let's see. This way is more negative X. So, let's go negative 12. And we'll go zero. Let's see where that is. Oh, well, that's a good location. Okay. Load. There's for four. Not bad, right? Not bad. Especially, and there's enough trees here that um, with a little bit of rotation and some height variation. So here you can go, say, sometimes you might go negative two. And here, how about 23? And just see where this. I, I, and we'll do a 90 degree rotation on that. Oh, way over there. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Load. Boom. Fir tree. Ha ha! That one's really low to the ground. Cool. That works. That works fine. So let's go back to zero here and we'll do a, uh, how about, um, instead of minus, we'll do 27. That and, uh, how about just 24? We'll move one different. Oh, that's out. Okay. So that one, we don't want to do that. Okay. So instead, we'll do minus 30. We'll check that out. That's over there. I like it. How about two? Because I'm, I'm curious if I can get the... Yep, that's perfect. Okay, awesome. Um, and let's do a 180 degree rotation. Whoops. Load. There we go. Sweet. So let's do for five. We're going to do this pretty close by. So 32, 1, 29. Now that's really close, but you know what? That's okay. Sometimes, yep, and load. Sometimes they will be. Sometimes they'll be running into each other. That makes total sense. Yeah, for five is the biggest one, I think. Um, let's go here, forty-five, and see where that's at. Ah, you know what? Now I might be getting outside the range. I wasn't sure exactly how far these these could go which direction is this this is that's minus okay so in oh yeah 32 so relative position can only be minus 32 so let's go minus 17. 
way over there. Perfect. And uh, let's just go 30 and we'll go minus 11 and let's do a 270 degree rotation. Done and load. And now some of these, well, you may notice, some of these may be hovering off the ground. And that's going to be something that we're just going to have to go in and fix. So after I plant a ton of trees here, so I want this to be a really, you know, immersive, huge, awesome forest. This is going to be so cool. Then um, I want to go to first seven. And I'm going to put this in the exact... No, I'm not. Uh, hold on, I'll finish that thought in just a second. Check out this one. Load and load. Yeah, I made some ground cover. I made some ground cover, and this is not coarse dirt. It kind of looks like it, but it's not. Um, so grass will spread here. That's going to be something that I want to come back in later on and just do with some, some variation and that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, but it comes even complete with grass, so that's pretty good. Yeah, and we'll just do some clearing, some kind of things like that. Just kind of make this look as natural as possible. That one didn't quite pull off to be as natural as I had hoped, but a lot of them will, and some won't. And, you know, that's where we'll do a little bit of editing here. Now, I, I was going to do this in a live stream, actually. Okay, this, so I gotta remember, Bert, uh, first seven is gonna require a little bit more, like, TLC. So I'm probably gonna have to sort of really put the structure block where I want it and take a real look at the height variation because this is a yeah this needs to go away no room for oak trees here I'm doing some uh something more creative literally creative mode anyway yeah so okay so just gotta remember seven seven maybe keep an eye on that and um how about 22 Oh, no, that's right where another tree is. So let's go 17. I kind of keep picking the same numbers, which is weird. Anything over there? No, that's in a good place. Load. Oh, isn't this nice? I mean, so I want this to be a pretty dense forest and then a path just kind of going in between. And uh, what we'll do here is... Let's just put down a block right here. What we'll do is uh, later on maybe add some some more trees. Boy, you know what? This tree right here is really straight coming down the side, isn't it? Yeah, I don't love that as much. That's actually much better. Probably in a really dense forest, you probably won't really notice it. But I want to try seven over here. Fur zero seven. All right, so that's gonna be zero. Kind of interesting. Let's just load it. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. I have to admit that works really well. It works really well. Um, Probably going to want that there. Probably going to want something like this. Now, yeah, this is going to require definitely uh, some edits for sure. You know, just to kind of work things out. But yeah, I should be able to work the path sort of like through here. Maybe this one kind of goes away. But yeah, so this is like the kind of thing that the path is going to get through. I like it. And instead, we'll do something like this. And this, these will be the little path moments will be edits that we'll do later on. But I think that's really nice. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep on building. Keep on building um, these trees in random places. And just kind of seeing. Uh... Yeah, no, not there. Let's go um, 12. I'm really getting mixed up in which direction is which direction. Let's see what happens there. I'm, I'm kind of curious because that is right where... Oh, what happens is it's freaking perfect. 
<laughs> anyway, I'm going to keep working on this. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get a really sweet fur fur forest. I mean, this is going to look like modded Minecraft almost, you know, once once this is done. I think it's going to be really cool. We're probably going to have to go in and do a bunch of handmade um, of these the fence trees. I don't think that there's a, a good way to do that um, any other way. But, yeah, yeah, we'll get to it, okay? So I'll be back once I get more of this uh, done. All right, we're back, and um, I, there's a lot of work done. We did a live stream. Ulrich got on and did a ton of work decorating this stuff, and I planned a bunch more trees. So I think we're at a good place maybe to just take a look and just see where we stand, and there's one little surprise that I just want to show off. Um, so if you're just walking along for it, I don't want to run. I actually want to walk. Look how much more dense it is. So a lot of bone meal took place here <laughs> and uh some flower organization where they sort of grouped together a uh, nice job there and as you're walking along you'll see this little path so let's follow the path off the main road actually using path walks which is not something that i've been doing very much of in the realm and if you just follow this it's you know weaves around goes between the trees i, I wanted to make it look certainly easy to follow but not obvious then what you come to is this little farm oh this little farm that, that Ulrich made, which is perfect, and then a little uh, arbor druid hut. And this is this is the hut of the guy who planted this forest. Because remember, the arbor druids are the ones in charge of planting the giant trees, right? So um, let's just take a look, right? Uh, the typical arbor druid grass on top. That's a, a, a key, you know, key part of the of the the build style that they have, and just sort of a random collection of of stuff. I planted these trees, which I put, I buried kind of down the ground, and um, it works really well. Like, it gives a nice bit of cover. Like, if you are, say, over here looking, it kind of covers it. You know, it doesn't hide it necessarily, but it kind of covers it. And I think that it makes for um, a more immersive experience because whenever you're looking, you're not seeing the end of the forest and you're not seeing the hut. You have to come around here and look at that. Oh, isn't that nice? I mean, that looks so good. It looks so good. I love it. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm really psyched about this this build, I think. Oh, that's a, that's a nice a log laying on its side. More, we should have more of those. And I do want to make the building uh, bigger and bigger as we go here. Or the build. What did I say? Building? Forest. I want to make the forest bigger and bigger. But let's just follow it along here and just take a look. Take a look how it looks. There's a little cart over here. Um... I mean, I just, I feel like it's just so good, you know? Nice. That actually, that actually looks like a, uh, yeah. I mean, it actually looks like someone lives here. This is great. Uh, some of this was natural water, and we just sort of ex extended it. It was like a few different pools, just kind of matched them up. So it looks like a little stream going through the forest. And, um... Yeah, I think it's good. You know, there's a couple things I would probably like to have, which would be more cur coarse dirt. Oh, like, yeah, you can't have this. Um. Yeah. Yeah, you can't have a tree hanging off the edge like that, but okay. Good? I mean, I think it's really good. I, I really enjoy the forest. Let's take a look at the uh, at the spectacle. Also, all that is now coarse dirt. Um, go into San Rascu. And yeah, here we go. I mean, look, uh, short episode, but this is sort of the wrap up after doing a live stream. And I just kind of wanted to get in here and show. I mean, there's uh, what I would like is I'd like this forest to get, fill up this basically entire area, but. Um, it just takes time, you know, this just takes quite a bit of time. So I think as far as it goes for the first fur forest uh, on the realm, I think it's pretty good. I like, love that, that little clearing. That's really nice too. I think what I would like to do, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty decent sized Minecraft forest. Just gotta get, just gotta get bigger, you know. But, um, what I would like to do is, is just expand it. And I'll probably just expand it. Maybe, maybe I'll expand on a live stream or something like that. But as far as it goes for me... I think that's it for today. Now, uh, probably a very short episode, but but it's okay. A lot of time took place in between, and we'll see you guys next time. Oh, we'll see you guys next time from the realm of Vastin, and uh, we'll do some more building. I'm trying to trying to find, finish up with a really good good screen, like sort of good immersive screenshot here. Oh, you know, I know where we should go. I know where we should go. Let's go. Let's follow this little path. Let's go find the Arbor Druid. 
Yeah, that would be cool. And, uh, you know, Ulrich did a lot of these um, big, big giant um, stone piles, cobblestone piles, which I think looks really cool. And, um, yeah, we'll just go right along. Like, oh, yeah. Something like get a tree in the foreground. Maybe, uh, how about this guy? There we go. Nice, nice. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Short episode, sorry about that. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.